Hello everybody, my name is Wordith1 and this gamer, and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Last time we climbed up this uh Oh it, the ladder broke during the ascent, it's not possible to climb back down. So there's stuff I missed down there. And I wanted to go back down and check it at the start of this episode, and the ladder's broke, and I don't know why I didn't see that looking right at Wait, what what? Where the fuck am I? Where am I? What the hell? I have completely botched up this intro. I'm stuck in a room. <laughs> what? Fantastic start to the day. Oh, oh, okay. The ladder broke during this end. It's not possible to climb back down. Well, I wish I had clicked on that first. Sounds like something just fell in there. Alright, so, uh... That one won't budge. This one opens, and this one opens. Now, which one looks more appealing? We have signs coming from that direction, so either one doesn't sound that appealing. I think I want to go for this one first, because it's to the right, and then I'll go to the one basically opposite. Just turn that on real quick. Basically opposite the, uh, I don't know, basically opposite the ladder. I see a note that we have to read. Do I have oil? I have plenty of oil, but eh. 9th of August, 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Uh do you bel what is right should I touch this fuck I'm touching it it's not working uh two levers on the top floor are not working there's probably some problem with the machinery all right so we can't do anything with those just yet I guess we have to go out here to the left take it back now y'all one hump this time wait do I have a key or anything just remember because there is a door there that won't open all right so now I have to go down the, the spookier uh way Light up some torches. Light it up. Up, up, up. Light it up. Okay, this is this is even worse. Even worse than. What the fuck is that sound that keeps falling? Hello, 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 hello. Yep, this seems like a safe way to do this. Yeah, let's just go back up here, in case we fall. Uh, let's just let's just sprint down this spiral staircase. I have a feeling something's about to happen, because frames kind of just dropped a wee bit there. Also, uh, I was so happy in the last episode about the whole w webcam being movable thing, and I've had to go right ahead and put it back on OBS, which means I can't move it. It also means my reactions are not 100% on time. You see, here's a little bit, for, for, for people who do video video stuff yourself, this will be this will make sense to you, but not any other reason. Uh, when you when you record with OBS, the webcam for some reason is naturally delayed. There's no way to fix that. So, to compensate, I make the audio delay as well, and that makes everything pretty much real-time, or as real-time as it can be. But essentially that's why, although I still react on time, like if something scares me, I'll react to it on, like, natural timing. But the reason that it might look like I've either faked it or not reacted in time is because of the, the delay Dr. time. Reaper, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No, I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes. Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? So that's how you pronounce his name, Agrippa. And I thought it was a place by the sounds of it, but it's a, it's a person. Um, but basically what I mean by all that is... The webcam is set to zero, which means... It is, it is as close to real time as it's going to get with the gameplay. You cannot delay the gameplay, but you can delay the audio. So the audio is delayed by 200 milliseconds. This is all just video timey-wimey shite. And um, 
the 200 se 200 milliseconds makes the the audio go in time with the game uh, with the face cam just perfectly but that means that the audio and face cam because of the face cam are not 100% in time with the gameplay if you know what i mean and it sucks because then people are going to watch these in the future and be like you faked that reaction didn't you it's like no it's it's just the way my recording works cuz i can't record my webcam separately and the reason i'm not recording it separately is because if you might have noticed in that last video, the the, the gameplay, uh, the webcam would completely out of sync halfway through and then fix itself later. And it looks nicer and all that stuff, but the thing is, hello dead guy, um, the dropping frames, it went down to 15 frames per second, and that's the main problem. And basically, yeah, the, the recording software I used, which was Logitech, um, webcam software just wasn't working out for me and was bad. How are you talking without your bottom jaw? The switch? Next. Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is Agrippa. Who might you be? Daniel? Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me, are you among the lion's den? You want to stop Alexander? Oh my. So Babylon shall follow you, sir. <laughs> You've hurried too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. He has one. That's... that's not very promising. Oh, the sector is basically impenetrable. But guess the why hope. It could be breached by another. But Alexander broke his... I mean, my own. A long time ago. Really? Then if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken oar and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak matter, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the choir and the transept. You should be able to find them there. Okay then, so... Dad, I hate to bother you first, but if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at me. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johann Reich, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. An orb is near needed to enter the inner sanctum. Its shadow pieces lie scattered in the torture rooms. Two levers up. Agrippa, the dying man, seeks a note written by a man named Johann Weyer. Okay. So this is very interesting story related stuff of the story that I... What lever? Oh, that one. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way to fix it. Can I go now? What happens if I chuck this box at him? Who, me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippi. That was once quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead husk for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. Okay, I didn't do anything. I assume just the longer I stand here, the more he's gonna talk. Is that. Ah, shit! So. Okay, right. The story that I really know not really what of what really is really going on, really, um, is obviously what's going on here. And. I don't know. Alright, so that's this. It can't be open from here. It looked like it was pretty close to opening from here. A heavy doors blocking the path. It didn't seem that heavy. Look how much I can lift it without even anything to grip onto. A grip onto. Hey, hey. Maybe she knows. Um. <laughs> the fuck is going on? I think I tripped on a bag of potatoes. So. Yeah, so in the long and the short of what I was trying to, or what I did successfully say, um, yeah. Although my videos may have, like, the, the delay, it's just a slight delay that 
if you don't even notice it, it probably is, it's not even a problem if you guys have never noticed it until now. And now you will, well then I apologize, that might throw you off a bit, but if you didn't, well then it should be grand. And to anyone who did notice it beforehand, I might have thought maybe that my reactions were either faked or something was up. Well that's what's up, and they're no, they're not faked, I would not be playing these games just to fake a reaction. I play these games because I know I'll have a brilliant reaction, because horror and me do not mix well. Right, so all these rooms are empty. I don't know why I brought that whole thing up as if like people have been calling me out and saying like you know you have been faking reactions not a single person has ever said to me that they think my reactions are fake then again I don't think anyone really gives a shit about my reactions let me just cook this bread um I, I got some meat I don't really have any other comments other than that there's a joke in there somewhere but uh, I'm not gonna be the one to make it I know this I've been here already I know this taste Taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in a dim hand. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. Its cuts speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Uh, they will be back. Who the fuck was that? Also, why did Daniel get scared of a puff of cloud? What was the point of coming up here? There was like literally nothing up here. Like this whole room has been a big waste of my time. Besides that one tinderbox, out of like 16 rooms, one tinderbox. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looks through the window at the, at the wet, widespread forest and the morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought. And now that you've talked about some drinking, I am going to open a can of non-branded energy drink. Or not even an energy drink, just non-branded drink, and I will cover it up because that's not a product placement. I'm just thirsty. Even though you guys could probably guess from the can what it is, but... <laughs> not sponsored. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever take on sponsorships if this channel were to grow. I'm... I've always kind of thought to myself, like, I kind of feel like... I don't know. I, I don't know what I feel about sponsorships. Huh. Well, this is, uh... Oh, hi, Grunt. I didn't, I didn't even notice you there. This looks familiar from, like, old Markiplier videos I've seen. I just realized there is, like, liquid on my monitor from opening that can. It got from all the way from here to my monitor. Okay, so... Pretty sure I've seen this, like, area before from, like, a, like, best like scare reactions montage or whatever but that's just a little further it's like Orpheus descending into the underworld are you hiding something what do you mean never mind your intuition is remarkable I'm not sure I'm following it doesn't matter it's just a myth after all a game myth thanks for watching So, oh shit, this way is glowing. I kind of want to go this way first, even though I kind of feel like it might be progress, uh, progressive to go this way, and I should probably go there first, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, the door's open, that's handy. Hello? Well, that is why it would be glowing, and that also doesn't look very good for me. Now I'm getting into the nitty gritty of this game. I have never seen this shit before. The pedestal has a smooth hemispheric depres depression at the top. Obviously, that's where the orb will be, and that's what it says right there. Uh, and I'm assuming I need that orb to go in there, and if I try to go in there now, it will be deadly. Missing barrier blocks a passage in the chancel. I'm glad that it gives you the option to touch it first. More games need that. I got a text. Sorry about that, everybody. My phone went off, and... <coughs> yes, okay, so... Got a text. It was Mother Dearest, and that's all there is to say about that. So we're back, and let's see, where should we go next? I'm thinking, we go... I thought I just heard like meat getting slapped about. Let's go in there, shall we? Because that's where the grunt went. And he's not here anymore, and we could go that other way, but I want to go in here first and see what's down this way. Hello? Okay, I thought that suit of armor was a thing. All is lost. I must once again start over. Ever since I recovered the orb first found by Agrippa, I have depended on it for my research. The incident with Wilhelm made me most impetuous. 
fearing a paucity of prisoners, I proceeded with the final ritual without proper foresight. The orb cracked and fell into six parts. The Dragon Balls! I have tried everything, but yet have yet to think, have yet to mend the thing. Unless I can think of a way to piece it together, I will have to find another. There is still life in the pieces, and even if the orb isn't restored, I might be able to salvage some of its power for some other purpose. Centuries have passed in vain, and I begin to wonder if I will ever be able to see my loved one again. How much longer can I sustain my life? So. It seems like Alexander's trying to su uh, trying to summon Shenmue or Exodia or something along those lines. Stefano! Oh, sweet! Hello! And Ella's beauty. Wait, didn't we see Stefano already? I'm not beauty, by the way, so I'm just gonna stick you in. Well, you're not going in the jar. I had a PewDiePie t-shirt on yesterday. I should have filmed it then, and then this would have been funny. It's like, hey, check it out! You're wearing a PewDiePie t-shirt! That means you're a PewDiePie! Am I it? No, Stefano, you are wrong. Get out of here. Hello! Oh. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I'm on I'm on the wall now. Something tells me this room is full of death. Let me up, for fuck's sake. What is this room all about? There's like no wait, if I get Stefano and put him there, will he like be a sacrifice or some shit? I love how there's like loads of different like statues, but like there's one golden Stefano. Here, come here. Stefano, you're gonna be the highlight of this episode. Can't believe I found you. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the biggest homage to PewDiePie ever. It's like this this sort of like All Hail Stefano! Yeah. I'ma just I'ma take this with me. Just for protection. I'm not gonna do any more PewDiePie references, I'm just gonna keep it with me. So uh, I guess we should try down there now and maybe throw you at the grunt. What do you say? I'm not making it. I'm not doing it. I turned it towards me. I was really wanting to say something, but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. All right. Let's uh, go this way. Shit. I'm bringing... I want to bring him with me. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. All right. You're coming with me. Let's go. We're going to open up this last door and see what we can find because so far... Oh, hello, I hear gears and shit. Oh, yeah, we need to find something to fix those levers at the top. Another note. August, 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. Huh. Uh, for a second I thought he meant the bucket of tar. Because I've got a bucket of tar. I gotta go and leave my place. I don't know what I'm talking about. So this is awfully noisy. Uh, don't budge, well why not? It's all of metal and a good ship. This is no use. It's no use! How about some meat? No? Nope. Okay, so... Savato, get in there. You want to just orientate you correctly? Right, I squeeze through the bars! I should have known as much. Okay, so we can't go in here for some fucking reason. And every other way is basically... What? It, oh, I thought I could like lift these away and check uh, amongst them. I don't know. I've been in all the rooms. There's like nothing to see, nothing to do. I think I just have to like go back, but there's like nothing back there either. There was those levers, but is this ill time with the sick man? If so, blame yourself. You started this. You sent me that letter asking for help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you! 
What? What are you bitching about, Alex Pander? I, I I don't know what the fuck's going on. Right, so. Oh, hey, wait, what? There's a door here? Have I been in here? Something tells me I haven't been here. How did I not see this? Well, Stefano, it's been good to see you. I think I have to leave you behind, though, so. Anything you have to say? No. Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how Fala must feel about his craft. Being an art artisan, relying on one's skill to perform something so delicate, grants a certain form of pride. Okay, so... Wait a minute! These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture. And you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. I have no idea what's going on. Did I get anything of worth? Dude, speak to me. I don't think I got the letter he needed. I don't think I got anything I needed. I got meat! Fucking meat! I got- well wait, I got- I got tar, so maybe that will be able to like oil up the uh... The levers and then I can use them. I think that's what's happening. So let's get to the top of this spiral staircase and then... Hopefully we should be able to actually make some progress, because this whole episode's been a lot of like wandering around, but not actually being able to do anything. So let's just get up here. I thought I just saw something when I climbed to that top step there. We're okay. Hmm. I'm hearing those fallen rocks again. Uh, there's nothing through here, is there? I don't, yeah, no, I won't budge. Well, let's just see what we can do. Cannot use. Cannot use. Cannot use. And my dog has farted. Thank you very much for that pleasant aroma. And I'm pretty sure. Bucket of tar. What? How about some meat? Well, I thought I figured this out. I am fucking lost. What about using the tar on the door? Will that do anything? I don't think so. Yeah. Huh. Safe to say, I am sufficiently lost. Come on. It looks like it should be doing something. That sounds like it's 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 hard enough that it should be opening, but it's not doing very much. I guess I'm gonna just keep moving on. What? What? <laughs> Why did that just happen? Right. <sighs> so the machinery isn't working. Mystic mysterious barrier. Two levers on the top floor are not working. Probably broke some normally needed to enter and sent them. We have not found anything we need. We've just got like a lot of other things that we need to do instead, and we can't do any of them. I'm so fucking confused. Let's get out of here. Hello, left, right. Oh wait, what's this about? Can I get in here? No. Fuck, there's so much shit that I don't know what I'm doing with. Uh, no. Hmm. Let's just pull away the boards with this shovel. I'm sure this will work. Oh. I actually slid it in behind. And now I put it in that room. Lovely stuff. And just like that, you two can be a wizard and put shovels through solid doors. Agrippa, I need your help. I'm, coming. I'm lost! Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. Well, I'm fucking lost. Help. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. 
this can't be opened, and it's obvious that these are what the levers are going to open. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it'll open something else. But there's bound to be something I've missed, but quite frankly, for the rest of this episode, I don't have time. And when I say the rest of this episode, I mean there is no rest of this episode. I'm out of time to go. Anyway, so yeah. I'm going to pick this up immediately and figure out what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully next episode I won't be so damn lost. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Check my channel's playlist for more games I played. Thanks again, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, my name is Greg from the Nifty Gamer, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. We're once again going to try and tackle the sixth night. The sixth and final night. And it's been a long ass time since I've played Five Nights 2, so I'm going to be kind of out of the swing of things. Okay then. So, if I don't seem like I know what I'm doing, uh, that would be the case. Um, Mangle's already in here, shit. Oh my god, Foxy and fucking Bonnie are down the middle. Yeah, I haven't played this in too long. Too, too, too long. And my voice is not in a good position. Nothing's in a good position. I'm not at all prepared. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I should have had a practice run or something. Shit. Ah, sh shit. So, um, we're gonna try and beat Night 6 today, and if we can, if we can manage that, we'll do some custom nights as well. Uh, well, a custom night. I don't know how long we're gonna have.